everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Update. Five new immigration officers will now be on the front line of the law enforcement agency. The new recruits graduated last Friday at a ceremony held at the University College. Now, a number of government dignitaries attended and spoke at the ceremony where awards were given for achievements in several areas, including the most improved recruit, the highest overall achievement, highest academic award, and highest proficiency average. We congratulate the five new officers. Meantime, government's ministry and Department of Agriculture are hosting the seventh annual meeting of the Caribbean Plant Health Directors Forum next week right here in Grand Cayman. Now, the four-day forum will be held at the Marriott. Issues to be addressed relate to the health of flora in the Caribbean region and any threats that may exist. Plant health directors from 34 countries and territories in the Caribbean, along with key regional and international organizations, government entities, and universities will be attending the forum. The National Workforce Development Agency is going to the districts in an effort to improve its customer service. Those who are looking for jobs in East End, Bodentown, Northside and West Bay will have an opportunity to get registered and get answers to questions they may have. Attendees will also get help with preparing their resumes and for job interviews. All the meetings will be held at libraries in the districts with the first one in East End on August 4th at 10 in the morning. All of the meetings begin at 10 a.m. and end at 1 p.m. with the exception of Bodentown, which will be held from 2 to 5 p.m. Finally, remember to tune into Radio Cayman's For the Record show 7.30 in the morning on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And you can watch the show every Monday and Friday night only here on CIG TV. And join Sterling Duane Ebanks on Talk Today at 12.15 weekdays also on Radio Cayman. And of course, we encourage you to call both of those shows with your comments and questions. And you can also watch the rebroadcast of this news update throughout the night here on CIG TV. It's also on the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page and our YouTube channel. All right, everyone, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for watching the CIG TV News Update, wishing you a wonderful night, and inviting you to join us here again on Thursday evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.